Global Conflict One on Earth saw investment by several emerging powers into experimental vehicles that were later shelved or abandoned. One of the most notable of these technologies, which had been fused with the existing elder technologism of the races that had dwelled there many eons before the arrival of the impudent human population, was Tranks. Tranks were a somewhat bizarre fusion of an armored tank and a battle train, reminiscent somewhat of the D-Day funnies of pre initian mid-20th century Earth, but on a larger scale and with somewhat more classically developed industrial machinery. Tranks laid their own tracks. A rapidly moving twin crane set up in the front heavily armed and armored locomotive element rose like massive antlers, moving sections of track from the second conveyor belt loaded carriage of rails. Following these first two or three carriages that were primarily dedicated to locomotion, and the systematic and efficient emplacement of self-riding and drilling tracks, were an assortment of deadly styles of war carriage. Freed from the constraints of weight and power that tanks and other comparable vehicles have to account for, the powers of Earth and GC-1 took the arming of these early prototype tranks to the extreme. Many had small naval turrets, all included the main armament from the heavy and main battle tanks of their nation. Some had technologism and elder magic incorporated into their design, some of these even sporting preternatural infused or hadium armor and fittings. Anti-aircraft guns, early missiles, elder ballista, catapults and even some had railway guns and small shore battery arsenals mounted to them. Almost all of the early models also had full complements of troops, exo-troops and specialized war magicians, tracero magicians, as well as outriders and jetpack overwatch rangers. They were not really intended to be the first wave of an invasion, apart from the very ambitious projects undertaken by Ashgarden, to incorporate elements of this tech technology in their investigations of how to utilize fleet firepower further inland, and to use combat ships across archipelagos and islands. Tracked keel setups were ultimately chosen for development by the mercenary state. The intended use of tranks was the fortification of newly conquered regions, and the suppression of uprisings in said acquired areas. After the end of the first global conflict, most countries abandoned work on tranks. Manufacturer Impervian Automotive Industries produced five ordered five remaining, one, security museum in Jefferson. Planned, zero, production has been shelved, no offshore license. Role, occupation mobile firebase license required special experimental trank military a maximum speed 2-5 laying existing track, evasion 1, 3 acceleration 01 on 12, torque 12512 stealth 1 scanners, 165 jammers 222 elite ECCM, air defense 150 cargo capacity 5535, performance poor propulsion, internal hadium steam turbine, tech engine transmission, ultra high engineering standard complex, mobility track layer, footprint, 500 fixed weapon mountings 120 fixed weapon capacity 220 crew, variable 150 plus soldiers, collective or resilience, 300 plus armor ultra heavy densified herculeum plating dreadnium chassis plus 5 vehicular force fields, plus 5 active plates AF55, 58 versus ballistic kinetics, chance of ignition minus 10% structural absorption, 1 on D3 integrity points, 979 structural mitigation D100.